Hey guys. So, literally twice a day, every day, people ask me, how do you make your own Minecraft server? There's a million videos on YouTube about this. But I'm going to show you guys how I did it. And maybe the video will help you or give you some insight of where to go. First thing you're going to do, and all these links are going to be in the description. Minecraft.net slash download. Look down here. Minecraft server 1.8.9.exe. That's an executable file. It's going to open once you click on it. So, I'm going to go to my downloads folder, which is where everything is stored. I'm going to copy this, or cut it, whichever way I want. Then I'm going to go to my desktop, and then I made this folder called MC Server. Paste it here, double click the file, click run on the pop-up. It creates a logs folder, does some other stuff. It creates a EULA. Check this document out. By changing the setting below to true, you're indicating your agreement. So this is an agreement. You're not going to sue Minecraft for people destroying your server, blah, 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 make profit. I don't know. Sign the EULA with true. If you don't, Minecraft will never run. Okay. Now, double click the server one time. Click run. It's going to create some more files and this white window is going to pop up. This is the GUI. G-U-I. I'm going to close this for now. I'm going to open this file right here with Notepad. Then all of these little settings here are settings that you're going to be able to tweak to whatever way you want. Some of them I like to do when I'm playing with friends is enable command block equals true. Forget about that. And probably allow like eight people to play because I don't really want 20 people on my computer at one time. I'm going to change the view distance to 8, these are chunks, right? 10, 16, 20, whatever. And MOTD, message of the day. Let's play some MC. Okay. So here's another one, allow fly, enable query. So these are all up to you guys. Now, if your friends join and you want them to have good powers like you, you just go, let's save this first to this window here. This is the best command ever. And you type op and then their name, Kirby. Op, Kirby's an op now. Okay, now pay close attention. So you got that set up. It kind of works so far. You're gonna go to run. You're gonna type in CMD. You're gonna type in IP config, okay? This little number right here, 10.0.0.6 is how I would connect to Minecraft on my own computer. I'll test this out for you guys. Right in your faces. There is my GUI of my server running. If this is closed, your server is not going to run. I'm going to open MC. Loading profiles. Make sure you are playing on 1.8.9. Click play. Be very patient at this Mojang window, especially if you have textures or slow computer. Loading mods is a totally different story. I'll make another video strictly for that at another time. This is basic vanilla MC server at your house, so you and your little buddies can play. This is gonna work for cracked or legit. To get it to run as cracked, I'll have to show you guys. Multiplayer, right? I already did this a couple days ago, but I'll show you once again. Direct connect 10.0.0.6. My own house, my own server. Okay, there we go. This part always looks really shoddy. Check it out. Okay, I'm on the server. And if you were to go to your little window here, it shows me. Drop a block is my legit. Minecraft name. Okay, so now pay attention. If you want this server to play as cracked, you go to server and where it says online, right? Control F online. You have to change this to false. Anybody that tries to play that has a fake launcher will not be able to play. But now they can. And legit can join your cracked server. Now the last step, if your friends want to connect, 
they need this specific IP address. Go to Google, what's my IP? This is your public IP address. See this? You copy this, you distribute it to your friends. Sometimes you will have to type in that IP address with your port number. And the port number is in your file. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna look in here. I'm gonna type in IP, server IP equals that number I just had up there on the screen. Paste that in there, click save, boom, boom. Last step, if your friends are trying to connect and they still can't connect and they're having all these issues, you're gonna to need to forward your ports. That means that port 25565 is being blocked. You can go to the web and check your ports right with one of these port checkers 2556 I don't think this is gonna work but it doesn't matter I'll show you guys a quick way of doing it yeah it says I'm closed I'm using my VPN right now so I probably am closed okay now the best way that I've seen anybody do this is to download this really junky program uTorrent get uTorrent download the free version I don't condone torrents I'm sure people use them now but in uTorrent you can set up a port to forward. So you download uTorrent, you run it. Once again, all the links will be in the video. Click next, click next, click I agree. Do your little shortcuts here if you'd like. I don't want it to start up as Windows starts up, so I uncheck that box. Yes, I'd love to check. No, I don't want to check out the, bun the bundle software that you're trying to infect my computer with spyware. Okay, here is the window. Now, I believe it is in the preferences section. Let's see here. Here it is. 25565. So, go to connection, type in that port, and then apply, and then okay. Now, your friends shouldn't have any problems joining you. That opened that port specifically for traffic. Well, that was a lot of content. If you guys need some more help, go ahead and drop me a comment. If you guys think the video sucked, give me a thumbs down. I'll make another one. We'll make this work. Thanks for watching.